Jiggy cat on a damn finna spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. Hundred round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nagato's Avenge, and I just want to wish everyone a happy holiday. For today's video, we will be touching base back on the PlayStation 3, and I'll be teaching you guys on how to install WAP files plus renewing game licenses for your CFW PS3s as well as HEN PS3s for package based titles, also known as PKG games. With that being all out the way, we're going to go ahead and talk about all the prerequisites and everything you'll need for today's video, and everything will always be in the link in the description down below as well as in my pinned comment. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and continue on stating those things first things first you need a playstation 3 that's already hacked or exploited in some shape or form um for today i'll be using my 4.84 rebug um ps3 that's on decks but you could use a hen modified system that is on hfw i noticed that the latest version of hfw is 4.87 but if you want something like 4.85 or 4.86 it's just fine as well as well you need the latest version of sne enabler package files which will only be for cfw users at will so if you're on hen do not um download this file since this is not required for you guys um the next thing you'll need is psn patch version 2017.02b this is going to allow us to actually activate our rap files which is going to allow us to play our pkg games of course you need any package game along with its actual rap file or aka the activation file and it is required that your game has this if it doesn't then basically you can activate it or play it and you need a playstation network account that is activated to your ps3 console and last but not least you need a usb that is formatted to fat32 which we're going to be transferring over our test game as well as the rap file and all of our needed home with all of that getting out the way let's go ahead and continue this back on the ps3 and the pc and i'll meet you guys there Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. So first things first, what I want you guys to do is go ahead in the link in the description down below, you're going to go ahead to these two websites. Either you could go ahead and um, type these two URLs in, or you could just click on the actual link and it will just prompt it up to whatever um, web browser you're using. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome, but these are the two applications you will need, especially if you're on CFW. If you're on HenHFW, you don't need SNEN enabler. So since this will basically flat, uh, take away hen from your system if you do install it so this is just only for um cfw rebug and cobra systems as you can see here from the websites it says do not install on hen but once again all you got to do is just download the actual file itself um it's not too big at all it's like six megabytes second file you'll need and this is for both consoles for cfw and hen you also need psn pad so these are the two files you need and then once that's done we're going to go ahead and drag it to our desktop so since i'm using chrome just gonna drag these two here and now we're ready to go ahead and get started on the second part of the tutorial so what i said before you need any pkj game of your choice i won't be providing any links or sources on how to um basically get games because that's piracy however what you need to do is just get a pkg game of your choice in this case i'll be using pixel junk and you also need its games wrap file i won't provide like a resource on the wrap file itself because that also is deemed as piracy but this is just for like backups or whatnot um but regardless here is the game that I'm going to be using today. What I'm going to be doing is transferring this over to a FAT32 USB and we're going to be placing all of our homebrew and our games onto our PKG and successfully installing it to our console. So first things first, what you need to do is plug in a USB. In this case, I already have a USB plugged in, which is the one that's labeled as USB H for me. First things first, um, I have nothing important on my USB, but let's say if you have anything important like um, you know, music, pictures, any paraphernalia of that um, resource, you could just go ahead and back it up since we're going to be reformatting this drive. If it's not on FAT32, um, if your thing is already on FAT32 and you know that, then you could skip this step. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and right click over our drive, check properties, and if your thing is on FAT32, like I said before, um, you could basically skip, skip this step. If it's on XFAT or um, NTFS, you'll need to be switching this over since PlayStation 3s can only read natively uh, FAT32 file systems. So in this case, I'm going to pretend mine is on XFAT or NTFS. What we need to do is right click over the USB, go into format, 
Where's his file system? Yours, if your thing is on NTFS, will say NTFS or XFAT. Go ahead and switch over to FAT32. Allocation unit size, you could put a uh, default allocation size. USB volume label, or where it says volume label, excuse me. You could just label it as anything. I just keep mine's USB since this is the one I use for my YouTube videos. And make sure you have a quick format toggled on with a check mark. If you don't, it will take a very long time to basically uh, reset your USB drive or to reformat it. But once you have all that, just go ahead and hit start then you'll also get a disclaimer showcased on the screen saying that by formatting or excuse me formatting this uh usb or hard drive it will erase everything on your disk so that's why i said um earlier you need to back up your data if you have anything important but since i don't i'm just going to go ahead and hit okay um it will take a second depending on how big is your flash drive but for me it shouldn't take too long but once it's done you'll have another uh notification in windows that will say format complete so that's it right there just go ahead and hit okay and now open up back file explorer and go into usb so right now what we're going to do is go ahead and right click over our usb and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it x data so this is the folder right here and now, wherever you have your test game along with its wrap file, you want to place the .wrap file um, into this xdata folder. So just to verify that it's in here, just check the .wrap in here. Now on the root of the USB, what we're going to do is transfer our game of choice. Um, since my game is only 64 megabytes, um, you could basically just put it on a FAT32 USB drive. If your game is over 4 gigabytes, of course, anything on a FAT32 USB drive, or basically if it's formatted to FAT32, it has to be under 4 gigabytes. If it's higher than 4 gigabytes, any file size, it won't be transferred over. So you got to use something like FTP. But this is just, you know, a general gist of how to do this. Now, since we got our test game of choice, if your game's under four gigabytes you can't transfer over with fat32 um what we're going to do is go ahead and transfer over our um two homebrew files which is psn patch which is definitely needed if you're on hand or cfw but if you on just cfw you will need sne enabler since that's how we're going to sign into online safely so once we got all of these done what we're going to do is go ahead and close out of the usb window we're going to go and right click to safely remove hard drive and go ahead and select the hard drive that is selected since i have multiple hard drives connected to my uh, pc make sure you um basically eject the correct one which is crew crew the u for me so i'm done right here now what we're going to do is transfer over to the playstation 3 and i'm going to get everything set up on that side of the all right, so as of right now, I'm on the PlayStation 3. What you need to do is just verify that your internet connection is enabled on your um, PlayStation 3. As well, you need your USB connected into whatever um, USB port. I prefer to put my USB in the right USB port just for um, normality reasons. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and get everything set up on the PlayStation 3. So first things first, if you guys remember the game I was going to be testing is Pixel Junk. Here's how it looks basically if I don't have my game activated, it will basically add Ask me um this content cannot be used and i basically need to renew the license in the playstation store um but what i'm going to do is show you guys on how to do that without the psn store so what i'm going to do is just hit um back out of my playstation 3 and what i'm going to do is actually delete the game and show you guys on how to fully do this from the start so first things first we're going to go into package manager then install package files if you guys are on hen of course you guys already know you need to enable hen and then you get package um installer already on your system but since i'm already on rebug 4.84 dex i don't need to do that but regardless what we got to do is go into standard and we're going to go and install all of our files needed here so for me i'm going to install the game first and that shouldn't take too long since it's only 64 megabytes once the game is fully installed um for cfw users you'll need sna enabler to sign in safely um but if you're on henna hfw please do not install sna enabler or you will basically have to reinstall the um hfw firmware which can take a while as you guys know but um second thing what we, i'm going to install here is um SNA enabler and this is going to allow us to sign in online i already had this on my playstation 3 to begin with but um i'm just doing this for a tutorial basis last but not least we need psn patch and this is going to allow us to basically um 
activate our files. So now that we have everything done, if you're on CFW, you can need to follow along exactly as follows. But um, if you guys are on HEN, all you need to do is just sign in to PSN. But I'm gonna show you guys on how to safely um sign in if you're on CFW. So first things first, I'm gonna go into SN Enabler. It has this, it will say actually on the game GTA Academy 2013. So the param.sfo is like spoofed in some way. All you gotta do is just launch the application. It will take you to a black screen, of course, and then I'll show you guys on how to um, basically sign in safely without having any issues to prevent a band risk. So you can see here, um, this is how it looks once you install it. It's added spoof to 4.87 and added hash support for um, CFW 4.87 and Rebug Lite. So first things first, what I like to do is go to patch all, hit X. And I like to set my console back into official firmware mode. Um, when you do this as well, basically it will take package manager, app home, and everything off your XMB, but it kind of puts your PlayStation 3 into a OFW state or basically a regular PS3. And then um, I like to do is delete the history files. Once you do that, just go ahead and exit. You should hear two beeps from your PS3. And then I'll actually show you guys what I exactly mean back on XMB. So you could get like a visual representation so i'm back on x and b right now like i said um if i scroll up you guys notice that i don't have app home package manager and webman anymore since basically i'm doing that it will kind of hide all of the homebrew applications what i'm going to do now is go ahead and sign into psn and this is an important step since we need to go ahead and activate our console so of course you need a cid that's online and basically not to be banned so Right now, I'm going to go into system activation, go into PS3 system, go into game, activate system, and then activation complete. This is a very key point um, to this process because you need to be activated. Once you have um, your game activated, what you could do is go ahead and sign out of your console. And what we need to do is go ahead and restart our console. Since um, with SNE Enabler, it won't allow us to run homebrew applications. So you'll need to restart it. So if you're on Rebug or anything like Hen, you could go ahead and do hard reboot. But um, that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'll meet you guys back once my console has successfully restarted. Alrighty, so my PlayStation 3 has successfully restarted. What I'm going to do is go ahead and back into my user. Make sure this is a user that you have activated in. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and launch PSN patch. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then once you're on PSN patch, um, you'll see a black screen and it will list your IDPS. Of course, um, once I have this video edited out, you will not see my IDPS or PSID since it's private. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and focus on one section where we're gonna be installing our wrap plus EDAT. So what we're gonna do is hit L1 on our controller and then you should see installed wraps onto our thing. So all I'm gonna do is press start and it's gonna actually install our wrap. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and hit exit. And what we're going to do is go to our game of choice. And now I should be able to play it without having any issues in terms of renewing its license. So that's what we're going to be testing here. So right now I'm going to go and scroll down the pixel junk and the game should play. So right now it's at a black screen. So we're so far so good. And then um, once the game is fully booted up, um, you can see here it's asking me to update. But you can see the game is now playing functionally without having any issues of choice. What I'm going to do is actually mute my PlayStation 3 right now so it won't come off the actual voice recording. But yeah, essentially, this is how you um, basically set up any PKG based games. Of course, if you're doing a game that's higher in file size, like if it's over four gigabytes, you got to use something like an Ethernet cable or get another way or basically how to split the game. But yeah, um, this is essentially on how to do this. I know this is kind of a, like an old thing for the PlayStation 3, but I thought this would be a great topic for uh, many users. But with that being all, out the way my name is Naga Toja Fange once again have a happy holidays and I'll see you guys in the next video peace hey everyone it's me Naga Toja Fange here hope you guys did enjoy today's video with that being out the way as well I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well is another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content whether it be for the Vita PS4 PS3 and such and so forth as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my 
my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace